the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Chicago's will be releasing next year in 2020. Stay tuned. What's up guys? Welcome back to the DC Show. This is T. McNeil. So, as I just previously stated guys, uh, Air Jordan 1 High 85 Chicago's will be releasing next year in 2020. It should be around the winter time of 2020. So I'll give you guys uh, not the official release date, but I'll give you guys the official release window of when you can expect these shoes to actually hit the market, okay? Um, now, they were originally released back in 1985. I'm sure you guys already know that. And um, this is supposed to be nicknamed or dubbed the nickname uh, New Beginnings, okay, for the 35th anniversary. So I'm definitely excited about that. Uh, usually every All-Star weekend there's All-Star Jordans that come out. Uh, you know, usually you can expect like the Team Jordans and things like that. So this is no exception, okay. Uh, but it will be coming out for All-Star weekend of 2020. So uh, make sure guys that you stay tuned and keep it locked to the DC show. Now there's not a really any information on the shoes as of yet but I do have like I said a release window I do have some uh, pictures that I will put up of the shoes guys and I will go over the uh, ins and outs we'll talk about the materials and uh, also what I have guys is the price point okay now as far as the price point guys it will be going for 160 US dollars and the color is varsity red white and black and guys, Vossi Red, White, and Black, and they're the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Chicago's. Okay, guys, that is the official name. Um, the release date, guys, or release window will be February of 2020. Okay, so there is no specific date in February, so just keep it locked, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But uh, let's go ahead and actually, guys, throw up the images of the shoe, and uh, we'll talk about it and go from there. So typical Air Jordan 1 guys, you know, I talk about this shoe quite a bit and uh, you know me personally, like I said, I don't own a pair of Air Jordan 1s, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a pair of Air Jordan 1s, but if I do, uh, it could be the Chicago edition ones or it could be a former uh, Chicago edition ones that I also did a video about a while back. Now, the only difference between those shoes and these is the fact that on the midsole and on the uh, eyelids guys and as far as the side panels majority of the upper on that shoe is white okay the only red in the shoe is the rear and the uh, ankle support of the shoe around the back but the rest of the shoe was all white and this shoe obviously has a lot more red you know in between where the toe box area is uh, where the eyelids are where the shoe strings go uh, a lot more individual stitching on this shoe as well so that's pretty much the only difference but I mentioned this before guys you know the Air Jordan 1 is always and probably will continue to be the most duplicated shoe out of all the Air Jordans. I'm talking about from 1 to 23. Okay, we have so many different colorways, probably thousands. <laughs> it has to be thousands by now as far as a colorway standpoint for Air Jordan 1. So typically, you know, this is what you get. Okay, uh, but as far as images, guys, um, you know, we, we're going to go over that right now. Now, like I said, this has all the individual stitching in it. You know, it has the uh, iconic Air Jordan 1 symbol around the back of the shoe. You know, that looks great. Okay, the Nike symbol, guys, is obviously leather. And, you know, this is one of my favorite portions of this shoe is the red leather that comes on the shoe. I mean, it really looks good. It really makes the shoe pop. Okay, and uh, obviously red, white, and black has always been one of my favorite colorways anyway. Now, the toe box area is iconic. Just like any other Air Jordan 1, they have the air hole vents right there okay and then guys um, you know also what they have is two is the uh, you know the black shoe strings and then you have the Nike Air symbol on the front of the tongue 
okay now we have the soft uh, netted tongue okay it kind of looks like it has a little bit of uh, neoprene or you know like a soft mesh so that's always iconic looks great and you know the thing is guys also you know you could swap these shoe strings out as well I would probably leave them black but I mean if you want to put red in there I don't see any problem with that if you want to put white I don't see any issue with that as well okay now the Nike Air symbol on the front of the tongue is obviously iconic you know it's whited out now this could be the lighting on this on these pictures guys as far as the side panels and where the actual tongue is but uh, where the side panels are they look a little bit more like a regular white kind of like my, my t-shirt here as opposed to the tongue kind of has like an eggshell white or an off-white you know thing or a sail is what they call that okay or a bone color you know all of those different terms and frame phrases mean the same thing okay um, other than that guy even the rear of the shoe I mean iconic edge on one it's not a lot to talk about you know more stacked individual stitching and you know more red leather okay now there's no images of the bottom of the this particular shoe but we already know that the outsole of the shoe is basically red okay and we know what the bottom of Android ones look like typically they don't change the bottoms because it, you might as well just keep it iconic as possible okay so that's pretty much it guys again there's no information um, now keep in mind about the fact guys that this is the Edge One High 1985 versions um, that came out before okay guys a while back so we're going to have to be safe to assume that February 2020 this will actually be the same shoe once again I don't think they're going to change a lot as far as from a design standpoint so what you see today should pretty much be what's going to be released next year okay okay so what they could do you know they might change you know a couple of little panels around with color and things like that but what you see here I think needs to be the final build all right but like I said guys uh, stay tuned because uh, if more information does become available especially when it comes to the official date in February of 2020 I'll do a separate video and uh, let you guys know all right now these shoes should be available on Nike.com they should be available also on the Nike sneakers app uh, the regular sneakers app and all of your local retailers so uh, but we got a little ways to go guys this is only July so we got quite a few months to go before these shoes actually hit the streets all right so if you guys have any comments any questions leave them down below and a brother will get back to you all right also guys make sure that you like and share this content I would definitely appreciate that also if you enjoy the content make sure that you smack the hell out of the subscribe button and finally do not forget to tap the bell symbol that way you receive notifications when the DC show puts up new or in some cases updated content so again guys make sure that you do all of that it would definitely help out the channel you know guys right now uh, the channel is currently moving into the uh, 800 sub sub subscriber base what I meant to say and um, the goal right now is to get to that cool 1000 alright once I get there guys that'll move the DC show up to the next tier and it ain't nothing but the stars from that point alright so help a brother out man and make sure that you subscribe 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 alright so I will catch you guys in the very next video man alright